wanted to film another fall inspired makeup tutorial on this look right here. <laughs> As always, it's very easy. Oh, also, we're in a new corner of my room. I have the YouTube seance going on in the background, like many YouTubers out there. Flutter and calendar. Thank you for watching as always, and I really hope you like this video and it inspires you to do something a little different. Now let's get to the tutorial. I will shut up. Okay, so first I'm going to prime my eyes, and today I'm not going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm actually gonna use something different because I felt like spicing it up. So I'm going to be using the Dior Backstage Eye Primer. This one is number 02. So it has a bit of color to it, so it doesn't, I'm trying to hide my nails, cause look, yeah. It's matte already, so it kind of gives it a nice matte smooth base as well. So you can use your fingers to apply this all over the lid. I used to like to use this as a nude lip color as well. It's a really good little product to have. Now I'm going to be working with the, this palette. I'm all the, I don't know the name of this palette. The Exotic. Lotus palette and this is by Velvet 59 by Paris Manning. It is all matte eyeshadows except for obviously the glittery ones but these mattes they are pretty. So I want to play with some matte eyeshadows. I want to do something a little different a little let's scare them today a little gothy. I'm going to start first with a flat eyeshadow brush. So this one's by Ray Morris and it's called the Medium Oval Shadow Brush. I love her brushes. And let's start with this one. It's called Smoke Key, this one right here. And we're gonna put this all over our lid. That's pretty on its own. I love that color. It is so pretty. Now with the same brush, I'm just going to use the Silk Road this orangey shade, and I'm actually just gonna layer that right on top of the last shade. I really like it because it gives you like this burnt reddish tone. Now I'm taking this shade right here, it's called Cherry Blossom. It's a matte creamy shade, and I'm just going to put that right underneath the brow, all the way down to the crease colors. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm using um, Crown Brush. This is C460. Now using a smaller, stiffer brush. This is a no-name brush. I think I got it for like a dollar. I'm just going to use um, Smoked Tea again, which is that lid color. I'm just gonna put it along my bottom lash line. So I'm just kind of winging out the shadow. Think like a Pac-Man mouth, that's what I think of, or triangle. You don't have to wing it out if you don't want to. I'm going a little extreme because why not? I kind of look a little sickly. I love it. <laughs> I love like the whole heroin chic look and I mentioned that in my grunge video, but it's like my favorite look. Sometimes I would go like this to work and then they'd be like, are you feeling okay? But like, <laughs> no. I have to go home early. Just kidding, maybe. We're going to take this shade, it's called Saki Plum, also a matte shade, and we're just going to put this right along the bottom lash line, as close as you can get to those lashes. I'm not extending this out though, I'm just keeping it right up there. And then the same on the top. Any old small brush will do, even a no name. As long as it gets on there, it's fine. I'm going to take the the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Liner. And this one is in 005 Nude. So it's just a nude eyeliner. I believe I got this at Ulta for a couple bucks. I'm going to put this on the bottom waterline. Now for mascara. So I'm going to use the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. I like this mascara. I don't know why I don't use it more. It has a bunch of little teeth on it and it does add a lot of volume. 
I always do a coat of mascara before my false eyelashes. If you do eyelashes first and then mascara, that's not wrong either. There is no right or wrong, it's just the way I like to do it. So that's why I do that. I like this mascara because it has that bald tip to it, like the Benefit Their Real Mascara. So you can really get a nice, I like a chunky lash on the bottom. Clinique is good for sensitive eyes, contact wearers. Plus this one's not a pain to get off like the Benefit one. I like the Benefit mascara a lot. It's just a pain to get off. Now I'm going to do false eyelashes. I threw away the packaging of these lashes like I always do, but these ones, I remembered the number. They are Red Cherry Lashes number 38. So I like to have glowy, dewy skin in fall. Well, actually all the time, but naturally in summertime because I'm so sweaty, I have a glow. But in fall, I get a little bit more dry, so I want it to look like I'm sweaty. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to use an Urban Decay eyeshadow as a highlight. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Blunt. It kind of looks like just a white on camera, but in person it's like a peachy tone. And I'm going to use the Ray Morris Mini Kabuki brush to use this with. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time talking right now. Actually, that's every video I think I say that, so that's good. Look at that highlight. I'm going to do the OCC Lip Liner in Lydia. It's a dark, plummy shade. Just going to line my lips. I don't have a mirror anywhere. I have like the TV over here, which is kind of showing me what I'm recording, but you know. And then I have a mirror over here, but if I bring the mirror over here, I tend to block the camera. Now I'm going to use Black Moon Cosmetics. This is their lip stain in Purgatory. Ooh, these lip stains are off the chain. I love them. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of blush because I'm feeling like I need some blush. So this is the MAC. I obviously use this blush a lot. It's called Desert Rose and it's a matte. Now if anybody tells you that you look scary, just say, <gasps> thank you. And there you have it, another fall inspired look. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. I quick story, was watching other beauty gurus videos on YouTube. I finally ventured off into the YouTube world, which I honestly haven't really watched other YouTube videos out there and I'm not familiar with the beauty community. So I decided to kind of like venture out and see who's out there and what they do and long story short, I cannot say thank you enough for watching and subscribing to my video because compared to other beauty gurus, they have amazing quality, amazing lighting, amazing everything. And the fact that you guys watch my videos, subscribe to me, means so much to me. And it really motivates me to make more videos because you guys really like them. Well, so you say, you could be lying, but whatever. Thank you so much. I can't say thank you enough and I am excited. I hope you like this background. Let me know. If not, I'll keep trying new things. I'm still learning, I'm still new. I don't really know what I'm doing 90% of the time, okay? So just thank you so much for being patient, supporting me through this fun YouTube journey because I'm really here just to make videos and help you guys, not really for me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you like this video because I can do more fall-inspired looks if you want. Okay, I'll just shut up because I always do this. Bye, guys.